Just a warning, HHE is rated R or 18 in the UK. Swearing and things like that will be in these episodes. Please do not listen around, children. And let's get to the show. You have been warned. Welcome to HHE. That is Halloween Horror Events Podcast. We are a podcast about horror events in the UK and Orlando, Florida. Yep. So you can also follow us on all our socials at HHE Pod, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere you can find us. Subscribe to us on all good podcast apps and make sure you give us a five star review. Cheers. He forgot YouTube, guys. Get us on YouTube. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that as well. <laughs> Beaches, 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 beaches. Ah, nah, ah, yeah. Oh, Halloween horror. All right, I'll we've stop that there. About 20, we've just lost about 20% of our <laughs> listenership with that one stupid thing. Oh, my, let's see. If you haven't seen the Mario Bros movie, you don't understand yes, how have. big that beautiful song by jack black is beautiful i have i have watched it anyway welcome everybody welcome it. horror gang yeah. back to another episode of hhe i'm your host today phil joined by the old granddad moaning man simon he doesn't want to say anything because he's moody <laughs> it's right i'm not going to dignify that with an answer and we're also joined by the lazy millennial who can't be bothered to go shopping himself. And while we're waiting to record tonight, <laughs> hello, Joe. I nearly forgot his name there. Maybe I'll use an app next time to find it. I'm not drinking beer tonight. Evening, by the way. Boys. Being a good boy. I've got one. I've got one left. Yeah, I decided not to drink tonight. Goose um, and the loose. I just want to send yeah. my condolences out to any podcast who've lost anybody in the last few days <laughs> over <laughs> silly arguments um pre- pre- quite personally one of you will be listening sort it out lads um me and simon this podcast would have been over in one episode if we decided to quit every time we had an argument i would have quit uh, yeah every every week probably yeah so there we go anyway so on this episode we are actually going to talk about how to improve halloween horror nights in orlando florida i have yeah, none Jaws myself idea. yes so Jaws anything idea. You, yeah, yeah, no, by the way i have brought no ideas myself so pretty much i've got a few i've got a few so but i don't want to mention mine because i've got a funny feeling two of mine that i've got joe's gonna say so yeah, yeah wait and see yeah. Well, Joe, as this you're is your not gonna be, idea, you're not, not going to do. Yeah, anyway, we'll get into it. We'll get into yeah. it. Stop rambling, old man. <laughs> Joe, as this is your idea, let's yeah. go. Come on, put you on the spot. Okay. All right. Well, I've got three. Um, the first one I would do is I would open some of the houses in the daytime. Um, the backstage ones. Uh, I just think. It might help the crowds in the evening today. Do a couple of houses. So what? Uh, yeah, would would it be an, a, an extra upcharge for the day no, guests? Uh, well, I think I, I think if you're paying for separate tickets, and it's, that, that it's I, I, I think I've heard this banding around a few times. I would say yes, it's a, it's an idea, but it must be an upcharge because if you've got a separate ticket to the event, yeah, for HHN, and then you can get houses for free. By having a universal ticket, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I don't I mean, like that could... idea. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, they could do like if they only open, say, three houses in the daytime, say fifty dollars a day, and that gets you unlimited access to the houses. Yeah, I would do it. I mean, I would, it, I would it help people. Fifty dollars. I'd, I'd just say it, like like they do with the, an upcharge um, attraction, just ten dollars mm. going go through the house, ten dollars. And it'd be well, ideal for people with kids. So say you've got like a mum and dad and they've got three kids. They want to do horror nights, but they don't want to go on their own in the evening. Yeah. If they're in the parks in the daytime, they can do the houses while one of them stays one of them stays with the kids, the other one does the houses and they swap over. Yeah. Good idea. Phil, what do you think about that one? Phil looks yeah. disgusted. Absolute shit. I saw Halloween Horror Nights while we weren't allowed in America for the daytime. And quite frankly, the feedback was it was poop. 
because I when I go when I used to go to an early in and I'd go into houses when it was daylight and then come out in daylight, it just didn't feel horror to me at all. And my eyes had to adjust as well too much every time. Yeah. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> Joe looks like he wants to punch me. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what then we'll, we'll skip we won't go to the jaws next one should we go to one of our listeners yeah you might as well do the first one yeah uh i'm trying to make a, it a team a... thing that i don't talk as much yeah no. uh we've got one from rob turner uh he's he's poor it's obviously massively popular so i'd like i'd look to extend it to 15 houses from 10 but having the additional five houses open from 9.30 p.m. until 2 a.m. All over in Iowa, once the park has closed with entry into Iowa using the walkway between the parks by, by Rocket, it would ease a lot of congestion later in the evening, opening up much more space. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Because yeah, we've always option. thought, when people say Iowa as well, they've always thought straight away, start the event at the same time. But staggering it, it it frees up staff as well, who yeah. want to stay on for a few more hours, and then it would help. Logistically, I think it would be a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, uh, but I think it could work. I think it could. This is the most silent I've heard. Uh, any what, of was your, what was your second one, Joe? <laughs> Yeah, I, I was uh, thinking. I think the like... second one. I, I think it'd help with the scare zones. Um, I would do chargeable meet and greets with the scare actors, but not in the scare zones. I would do it maybe backstage, maybe at the hotels. Because I mean, we've said it before. These fucking scare zones are turning into selfies. Yeah, yeah. And I think if if people have already had a selfie with a scare actor somewhere else, they're not going to sort of ruin everyone else's fucking. Scares on, you know? yeah. Well, like saying, I, 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 we, 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 we determined the, the phrase selfie zone a few years mm. ago, and it's just got every zone is the same now. Uh, I that was going to be one of my ideas was have one selfie zone like they did before, yeah. I think it was 27. Uh, at the Hollywood, they had a like, uh, representation of each house at that scare zone, and that's where you got. As well, because that yeah, well, I see, I, I, I see the point of it. turning into selfies as well. It's free marketing. Look at all these bloggers and bloggers and people mm. just going on Instagram, taking a picture with a scare actor and posting it on Instagram and Twitter. It just gets free advertising that they don't have to spend a penny for. Yeah. So I can see why Universal have done it, but I wouldn't like them to go back that way so with that yeah. one uh, i'll move on to a, another listener our wonderful mr clegg because uh, he actually did say all over your body <laughs> he also did say paid <laughs> meet and greets throughout the park i've got Great both feet, I've got, I, th I think i've got i like both yeah. he's got quite a few in all of these i like yeah. the paid meet and greet area areas meeting up with him yeah do you want to take the next two from craig yeah, well, um, you've got a viewing area because this dude loves these dessert parties hidden in a house. Now, this is a bit you're <laughs> like, Joe, because Joe, these have been hidden from you to get your actual reaction. So viewing area, dessert party hidden in a house where guests to the party could watch s scares in real time from behind a two way mirror. So you'd be in a dessert party. <laughs> And you could, like, massive windows, you would look through in a two-way mirror, looking at people walking through a house. Yeah. Seeing getting scared. Yeah, I thought that's about, fucking amazing. I thought, yeah. Is that fault? Yeah. I thought that's, you pay for it, it's, you get loads of food, and get some fun. If you want something similar to yeah. that, Pashel Del Terra at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which is a horror attraction, they have a viewing screen at the end. Uh, they also yeah. have it in the queue, where you see people coming out of the house at the end running through the house. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. I've been yeah. through it. And the, the end does make you want to run through the door. You have to run through a, a door and you shoot yourself into this like horror thing bar. And they've actually I got a camera. It. It's me with no there. top on. People wouldn't even go in there, mate. Never mind. <laughs> out of it. All right. We've got Craig. Craig, I do love your idea, by the way, mate. Maybe I've, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll play on to that Craig thing. 
if it wasn't a dessert party, could you made imagine a prepaid booking yourself in drinks party thing, and you go in for, oh, not too many drinks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but you, but you're not That's allowed it. in there unless yeah. obviously you're over twenty one and you've pre booked to be in there. And I walk yeah. female in that. I want, and, then, and then it also goes to his other idea because you've paid for it. You can have characters walking around where you can get your photos with. But I want I want the staff at the bar themed better than they do at the, the Orlando and Fongma thing. Doesn't look great. I just want a lot of theming to it. And just, you know, where people like ourselves, we can go in one night, book it, and we may not leave the bar area for three or four hours because we're enjoying it so much. Yeah, so, especially at no drinks, you'll, you'll, you'll be dropping 200 notes. Yeah, see, so, it, so mixing Craig's idea up, there you go. I've just had an idea myself. Right, Craig's final one. Um, one night of Halloween, one Halloween night, dust to dawn, HH event annually. Whew, it's a long time to be in the park. Uh, does it? I, I wonder if he means after it, uh, from dusk till dawn. It so he does mean it when it when the when it goes down. Uh, I would say. It, I was just thinking, would that be like a technically like a sleepover at Halloween Horror Nights? Yeah, I do or, wonder as well the logistics and the be a... around there because yeah. you've got houses behind Universal yeah. as well. Yeah. But I have to like a, like a mini sleepover in a house or something where you actually stay in a house, one of the houses, and the, the, the effects are on all night. I don't, I don't think that's what he's Probably. saying, but that is no. actually really good as well. I think he's basically saying yeah. from say the event starts, say, one night at 7 p.m. And it doesn't yeah, finish until 6 a.m. I think that's what well, he's saying. It kind of really does, doesn't it? Because it starts at, yeah, but it starts at 6. It starts at half 6. Uh, it's uh, October. It kind of it starts to go dark about six, half 6, quarter to 7. So then it's not, it's, it's up until 2, 2.30 in the morning. The sun's starting to come up about 5. So it's, it's nearly already there. It's just adding a few extra hours on top. But I don't think the logistics of that would work. It's a good idea, but I don't think... I think if they did do it for one night, it would sell out. I've got another idea. Yeah. I've it's got another idea. Camera. Let's have this dust of dawn. Let's have a horror party at Volcano Bay for one night. It's a wow. it's a... Well, That's now that a... Would be they fun. actually teased that. Yeah, but they did say they were going to do more... Uh, evening events at Volcano Bay, didn't they, when they first opened it? Yeah. And they haven't done it yet. Yeah, they really need to start thinking I, I, I about it. I have a feeling a pandemic may have me messed up a bit, though. Like. Yeah, but... They started making cuts. Uh, look, yeah, they you... started making cuts to Volcano Bay within the first six months of it opening. It and fairness, the they did. I to tell you the truth, I used to love that one, but I just go in there, sit down now, I can't be bothered to do anything. But if it was a night event for Halloween, Horror Nights, LEDs, and you know the walking bits where all the mist water comes out, you don't need that. You can have fog around there. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah. I think the thing is as well that they'll have people drinking. They're drinking anyway. Getting pissed up and then <laughs> obviously Yeah, but then you've got water and alcohol, yeah, but, you know. Yeah, but, Dis- yeah, but Disney's, done yeah. Disney's done it. Disney's done it. Yeah, Disney did yeah. do it the type of go. The night would Disney attra- would Disney attract the same sort of crowd though? I mean Disney will be more family orientated. Not a night no night time, it's certain age it had to be for that. And most of them were like, what's going on right now? Grad bash, you know, people, kids leaving school. So um, some wouldn't be drinking, but most would be, I guess. Like, you just have to limit yeah. people. You just have to limit the drinks with people somehow. I don't know. You give them a card thing they come in with. You prepay for it. And once it's been punched, say, six times, that's it. You're cut off. Yeah. Yeah. So your final one, Joe. Come, let's wait, let's, is this the bowl buster? This is the one you're going to hate me for. Yeah, this is. I hate it there. already. No, no, and fucking no. Yeah, you know what it is, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I've mentioned I know. Yeah. <laughs> Get rid of those fucking multi night tickets. But Just wait, have Joe, single. Wait, Joe, quick, quick well, question: we, When you when you go next year, you're only going one night. Probably two or three. Fuck off then. Go and get one single night tickets, you bastards. <laughs> it's understand. We just lost we lost twenty percent with Phil's talk. We just lost a rest when he just said that. Oh good. I've told you before I don't care what Every, people every think. everyone has just puked. <laughs> Literally everyone in um, has just puked with that idea. There is I say there, 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 there is an element of yes. It was it will help to alleviate the crowds. But them nights when it's quiet, 
it'll be too quiet, I think. And the cutbacks they'll have to make for staff because they won't look. It, it, it's it's a, it's a they, touchy they subject. Might, for a lot they of may even that. they may even cut back on houses because, as you say, quiet nights. They might think, well, what's the point yeah. having ten houses? We might have well open six. Yeah, no, then, fuck uh, it. I'm stick. I'm sticking with my opinion. Get rid of those fucking tickets. And Joe is on Twitter if you want to follow him and tell him to fuck yeah. off. At me, at me. I don't care. <laughs> Simon, right, we'll Simon's go. now dying. Yeah, I'm dying. Uh, <laughs> we'll go back to another listener. Um, Hollowed Out Horror. Uh, he's poor. More food options so we don't have to wait in line for an hour. I think they started to get the food options a bit more up and running. I think, they need... more f- I think they need more food booths than options. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing is, the food boot. It's not that. It's there is options. There's a lot of options out there for food. It's just that people seem to go to the same places at the same time. Yeah, I would say if you're going to do themed food, this this is going to sound controversial. Stagger the opening of some of the some of them. Okay, that's fine. I've got another question with the crowds. Can you use the app to order food? Uh, for the restaurants, yes. So you can't for the booths. For, America, uh, would you... Oh, 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 right, here we go. Feels around time. America, fucking update your apps and that. You're so slow at doing anything. It's unbelievable. It's not hard to have the food booths with a... Or a special food booth that has a pre-order in it. You only need two around the park to do that. It's fucking easy. Just learn how to use technology properly. And why do I moan about American technology? Because I'm sorry, people in Orlando. When I come over, I feel like I've gone back in time. Yeah, well, and now everyone fucking just, hates me. <laughs> it's not a sad though, mate. The one who just caught in on to chip and pin. We've had chip and pin for the last like, nine, ten years. No, 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 no. They, 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 they have tap and sign, mate. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. That's what I mean. They still don't. Know, they still on the opposite of chip and pin. I might be funny, but I could be anyone. I have a, someone's card, tap it, and sign it. All right, I need to ask Tinder, you boys, both a serious I question. Need... I need to ask you a serious question, boys. Have you ever used a prepaid card, a holiday card in America, and when they've asked you to sign for it, you put something, you signed it with something like Mickey Mouse? Because I fucking have, and they don't even check. I'd just put an X. I'd just put a cross. No, that's what I I do. It's pointless. So Joe gives me his real um, autograph and basically wants to get frauded. (laughs) (laughs) Millennials, (laughs) fucking millennials. We've got to his next one. Keep it throwing them a little yeah. bit. Uh, Hotel he came up with what makes go zones scurvy again instead of photo ops, similar to what yeah. Joe said. I agree. Yeah. And the third one, which this one, I definitely do agree with. Better announcement seasons. Individual announcements shit. for originals with promo videos. Because, well, they are cool, going back to the later announcements than they were when they were coming out in March. Yes, we've had the earliest announcement of a house ever with Chucky at the end of the last season for this year. But when, the problem is, I think the the production team and the other team, uh, communications, whatever they are, PR team, don't speak to each other. If the house is set, done, ready, and it's actually going to be 100% done, announce it, but do it regular. Because this were like a few years ago, we get one in March, so it's, it's like nine weeks until June, and then we've got another one, and then we've got everything all in the space of like three weeks' time, three weeks. Be if you know something's set, give us a regular, give it every two weeks, every three weeks. Just make it a bit more regular so it helps people to get excited. Because I understand that they don't want to announce everything all at once, but the problem is for people like oh, ourselves coming from the UK, we we kind of need to be invested in the event to actually go now. Yeah. For me, anyway. And at the moment, there's nothing, except there is Chucky, but there's nothing else enticing me to go spend 1,500 quid on coming over for the weekend. Well, that, that, there's nothing actually drawing me in now. They've got so, 10 houses, so they could almost announce the house a month. Yeah. The originals, they can, they can actually can announce the originals because the people who, like myself, who are, I would say are veteran now, you announce, you announce an original to me. I might actually book a ticket on that original, not just an IP. The IPs do draw in a lot of the crowd, but for people who have been to the event a lot, a lot longer than about a couple of years, the originals are drawing people in. And they announced to me like Slaughter Cinema Two. 
after Halloween Horror Nights this year. That is definitely a big tick for me to think, right, I need to start looking at getting a ticket and getting a flight over. The Slot yeah. Cinema was one of the best houses I went through and it hit everything. But I also, can they hit the same feel twice? The Slot Cinema just was perfect. Loads of little how, uh, mini, mini films inside of a house and it worked. Can they hit it again? So I would pay to go and see if they could do it again. So I think we should we should have some regular, like I said, regular announcements and a better strategy than what this PAT yeah. is doing now. What are your thoughts, oh, mate, Phil? I know you're can, looking. Uh, at... um, it's more of their Twitter team what does my tits in, mate. If the truth be told, yeah. should, should we tell you stuff knowing they're not going to tell you? Thousands of people comment like morons. Oh, oh, they've coming back to us. They're yeah. still not going to tell yeah. you. It's just to- it's absolutely pointless and quite frankly gets boring. And I, like I'm, so- I'm sounding like an old man, but it's so boring. Oh, well, you don't deserve to know. Oh, that's witty. Well done. Yeah. And I, the, and- good, the good thing is that they seem to have dropped that whole screen. Um, have you seen what's happening with the lagoon? It looks like they're turning up. The... No. They're ripping out the uh, okay. lagoon. Uh, it looks like it's beyond ripper, the lagoon shell. It's actually deconstruction so videos of it absolutely being... absolutely smashed sorry. it up. Yeah. No, it looks like it. we might not have a lagoon show this year. Well, it's night. time to have a bloody drone show. That may be their option, but I have seen video. I've seen a few construction videos. And it does look like they're actually they've lowered the water. Um, it doesn't look yeah, cause, like because the, the cinematic spectacular. So it looks like it might. They might be a lagoon show. I mean, could they now. could they put projectors in the in in the water for the time being? <sighs> Possibly, I don't know. But that that show, that, like I said, I think they hit lightning in the bottle with the first one. Marathon yeah. of Mayhem. Yeah, that was that was. Amazing. And then they tried to reproduce it, and it just didn't work. It was good. It just didn't work. Uh, and looking for what what videos I've seen, to me it looks like they're actually ripping it all up. But whether that's the truth or not, we don't know. Because Universal and their announcements on anything are shite. They don't announce anymore. Ever since um. What's it called? Velocicoaster. They hit they hit a home run with that by not announcing anything and let the vloggers and everyone do it. But at the same yeah. time, yeah, that's brilliant because it's free for them. But at the same time, I hate to tell you this, there's <laughs> people out there who are waiting for announcements too much. I mean, come on, Epic Universe, give me fucking something now. Well, the thing is, it's like you can see Velocicoaster, you could see it. You could see it being built. The thing is, like the kids zone. It's all behind construction walls. Unless you've got bio reconstruct and a helicopter on disposal and a massive big telescope telescopic camera, us normal folk can't see that kind of stuff. And it's one person can see it and it's showing it to everyone, it's being shared everywhere. But just get, tell us what's happening. When's minions opening? What's happening with it? What are, is it going to be a minions cappy? We just don't know. What's happening at uh Kid Zone? What's happening with Halloween Horror Nights? You know what I mean, this, this, they can announce stuff. They don't have to say exactly what it's going to be and when it's going to open. Prime example is uh, what's what was the other one I saw today? I saw something today and it said uh, opening summer 2023. Summer's a long period. That's all you need to do. But uh, well, that's about it. Actually, they have, they have said that with minions, haven't they? I'm just I mean, anyway. <laughs> 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 Moaning old I've, man. <laughs> I've been playing darts all day. I've been drinking all day though. Right. Do we have you got any more, Joe, by any chance? Sorry, mate, you cut out then. Yes, yeah, it, I'm I'm gonna say anybody by this right now, guys. If there's problems with this episode, I've had it a few times as well. It's coming up, you're lagging, but my internet is proper perfect right now. I, why these two are chatting, I did an internet check. So it's it's fucking zoom again, the fucking part of shit. Yeah. So we're, we're hoping best, but I'm not <laughs> stopping recording. I was saying, have you got any more ideas before we move on to Craig's six thousand commandments? No, uh, that was my three. That was my yeah, three. Craig. We asked for th- Craig yeah, Willis. Right, I'm, uh, thanks, mate. Thanks, but we asked for three. 
<laughs> we asked well, for I three. Did, uh, we're we're going to meet time. You do the first three. Opposite. Yeah, I'll do the first three. Time with the last three. Yeah. Six people. Six. But at least he's giving me some content to read. We'll see if I don't even copy yeah. anything that's already come up. Number one from Craig Willix. Can you feel me? These Craig's bloody too many ideas, both of them. Right. <laughs> Equal split of IP and original houses, giving Halloween Universal Monsters music IP ugh, a break and aggressively pursue, pursue, bleh, no, pursue. Mouth, pursue, that's it, the obvious ones that have fallen through the net, even if negotiating the rights are difficult, like Halloween 3, The Thing 1982, Original Scream, The Lost Boys, The Fog, and Gremlins, etc. Equal split IP and original. They've done it. And it's the... Uh, it's just, I think, what it is, they're trying to do the IP and split, but then when an IP drops out, an original pops in. So I think that's why... Sometimes you think, oh, it's more original heavy than IP heavy. But they have gone IP heavy once, and I think that year was 20... 26? Oh, in that year's Chances year, wasn't it? Yeah. I think Chances, all, all the houses were bit around her and the rest were all IPs. So, oh, was it 20... I can't remember. I, I, I can't remember. Yeah, my brain doesn't work. Um, hey, welcome to your 40s, yeah, mate. See I'll, what I'll, I mean? You forget things once you hit your 40s. No, no. Um, equal split IP. I I agree with it. Personally, I'd rather have uh, originals more than IPs because originals, they, they've they got more freedom than IPs. IPs, they, they, you're stuck to it, a, a, a story or the that franchise. You're stuck to that particular bit where it's an original they can just do whatever the hell they want and there's nothing there's no boundaries a prime example was a hive there was there was no boundaries in the hive there was a, a dog i think dead and a baby half dead yeah it got taken out after the first weekend but there's no limits when it's a hive yeah, that's why the, the fog originals work, yeah. but when they've got the when they've got oh, all the limits they fog. can do whatever they want what's the joe what's that show you got me watching Joe's froze on me. Simon's oh, just from. Me. From, that's it, yeah. No, you've frozen. From. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's bloody out. It's amazing. Yeah, but yeah. So, there's kids in that mode and that, so that's never going to be allowed at Halloween Horror Nights. Somebody think of the children. Anyway. They've got to try and keep everyone happy. You know, they've yeah. got people like yourself, Simon, <laughs> who are hardcore IP obsessed. But then, on the other hand, you've got people who just live for the... Um, Oh no, sorry, you're I'm, 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 I'm original. But then, then there's people that the the new fans, you know, yeah. they look, look at Stranger Things. Look how many new fans of HHN that got in. Yeah, yeah. I don't. As I said, I I I don't disagree with having IPs. I say personally, I'd rather have more originals than IPs. But I'm happy with the equal split that they've been doing recently. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it because. Obviously, when they've had an IP, it's had to drop out at the last minute. It's been replaced by an original. So, yeah, it looks like it's more original heavy. But it depends on the IPs as well. I think the IPs need to work together. I don't think having a uh, prime example, you could have Chelsea Football Club in one, mm. and then you've got a volleyball team and a basketball team. I don't think... You know what I mean? Can you see where I'm going with it? Yeah. Things need to fit. So like Freddy, Freddy Jason and Leatherface, <coughs> perfect example, three IPs. They're never going to get all three together again, but the N3 would work because it's yeah. like okay. a slasher thing. That's brilliant, boys, but I'm going to stop it right here. Um, For YouTube, there will be a part two. And if you listen on the podcast, we'll be back in a second. With the rest Ooh. of them. I should say that, by the way. With the rest of them from Craig. Craig, yeah. see, if yeah. you had two yeah. or three, Craig, we've been done. Yeah, great, great. You got your own episode on this one, mate. Yeah. Back in a minute. 